and and I knew that the best way to do that would be by uh, by writing about the villains of the early church. Yeah, and you know they did they did us a favor, and I mean, in a way, because they <clears throat> the villains helped us, were challenged us to really understand our faith. I, I forget the, the the quote from Augustine, but it they really challenged us and they made us think deeper, go deeper, yeah. and get a fuller grasp of of uh, of what uh, the the doctrine of the church should be. That's right. They shake us out of our complacency. Uh, if if it, if the villains are within the church and they're heretics, then we have to deepen our understanding. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. Not not technical writing so much as uh, their promotional writing, which oh. is which is a different kind of thing, <laughs> because you have to you have to make these big technical ideas accessible to the people who are actually buying the devices. It was a great, and, and these are obscure devices, you know, protocol converters and that sort of thing. Yeah. this was back in the day. It's almost like you have to first let people know they have a need, and then explain why yours is the best one to fulfill that need. They didn't and even know are, they had. <laughs> right, and, and these are non-technical people, so you have yeah. to you have to write it in ordinary language. It, it was a challenge, but I think it really school it really prepared you. Those two positions really prepared you. What was your first book? My first book, um, uh, I I, uh, I I edited a collection of the writings of Father John Hugo, who was Dorothy Day's spiritual director. Dorothy Day is wow. an American woman who's up for canonization now. Um, but uh, uh, her spiritual director was Father John Hugo, who was a priest of my diocese, the Diocese of Pittsburgh. And uh, together with David Scott, I edited that book, a collection of his writings. It's called Weapons of the Spirit. And what about uh, the, the first book that was your basically your, your own baby? Well, uh, that was my own baby. It was The Fathers of the Church. That, the Fathers that book, of the Church. That book's huge. Yeah. Yeah, it's still and now it's in its third edition. It's still in print, and it's it's a standard textbook for seminaries and universities, and uh, and a popular book too. I didn't write it to be a college textbook. I wrote it so that my junior high son could read it, and uh, and it's it's ended up serving a lot of purposes besides uh, uh, the the edification and entertainment of my junior high son. Well, I really think I mean that's really true about your writing. I mean that th- it's so engaging. Uh, and you explain things so that people like I can uh, I can understand them. Oh, thank uh, you. You know, but that but it's it is. I was thinking about that. This is written in. in I was thinking about it. This is written so that someone who reads a newspaper, anyone who reads a newspaper, could understand this. And, well, I tried to make it funny. <laughs> yeah, and you also draw people in, like you have to do in the headlines of a newspaper. So I kind of get that. So here's this Egyptian who has to live in the cold countries, you know, uh, and and suffer our winters. But Uh, Arianism to me was the first uh, political correctness. It was so much easier for people to accept a a Jesus who wasn't a God, you know, who who wasn't, uh, you know, the eternally begotten son of God. And most of the military became Arian at some point. Was that during this this period of time? Well, the the, the Arian crisis was not solved by the Council of Nicaea. Uh, because a, a lot of people just didn't go along with it. They found workarounds and loopholes and that sort of thing. And then, uh, you know, the successor of Constantine, his son, Constantius, was an Arian. So you yeah. had the imperial power behind it, and you had people naming Arian bishops. And so it, it, the, the crisis continued. And uh, and it was a it was a it was a dangerous thing for Athanasius repeatedly. Um, so he had to he had to fight. You know. Now can uh, I ask can I ask you a yeah. question before we go go that? Can I please believe the story that uh, Saint Nicholas punched out <laughs> Arius? <laughs> you can believe it if you like. Unfortunately, there's not a lot. Hey, man. I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Plus, good stuff happens when you support us 
at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff, coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell.